The dream of lifting the Titanic with magnets, a century-old engineering idea that still amazes the world today. May 17, 1914, in a Dutch newspaper, an unusual and astonishing illustration was published, an illustration that imagined pulling the great ship Titanic, which sank in 1912, back up from the deepest parts of the ocean. Only two years had passed since the tragedy. The world was still shaken by the fate of the Titanic. People were desperate to see its wreck, to raise it, and to complete the tale of what really happened. And this desperation sparked the imagination of one engineer, an imagination far from reality, yet filled with great faith in the technology of that era. The wonder of 1914, the magnetic rescue plan. In the newspaper's illustration, a gigantic rescue operation is shown. Huge ships stand on the surface of the sea, each one connected to long steel cables. At the end of those cables were enormous magnets that were meant to attach to the steel walls of the Titanic, resting on the ocean floor. At the center of the illustration, a device is shown, labeled Onda Z R Submarine. This special submarine would dive deep into the ocean, attach powerful magnets to the Titanic's hull, and then the fleet of ships on the surface would pull the entire ship upward in one massive lift. The idea was certainly fascinating, but the reality, a romantic illusion. Why this plan was impossible from today's perspective. We now know that the Titanic lies 12,000 feet deep, about 3.7 kilometers, a place where the pressure is so intense that not only magnets but no submarine of that era could ever reach it. In 1914, submarines were still in their early stages. Industrial magnets were primitive. Deep sea exploration was nearly non-existent. Yet the belief and courage of humans in that era were extraordinary. That engineer thought, if metal can be lifted by magnets, then why not the Titanic? It seems humanity at that time believed that science could unlock every door, even a door hidden in the dark depths of the ocean, an idea, a symbol. This illustration was not just a technical proposal, it was an expression of a deeply human desire, the desire to bring back what was lost. The Titanic was, at that time, nothing more than a memory, a wound, and a mysterious story. Its true search began only in 1985 through robotic missions, but in 1914, people tried to see it through the power of imagination alone. This drawing also reminds us that humans have always dreamed of making the impossible possible, whether that dream sinks into the sea or rises into the sky. Conclusion This diagram from the Dutch newspaper now appears to us as something that makes us smile and wonder. It was not science, it was the power of imagination. It was not reality. It was the restlessness of the human heart. And maybe that is why the story of the Titanic, even after a century, still lives in humanity's memory and even more alive in imagination because sometime even imagination can lift the wreck